You're listening to The Debbie, Debbie Daily Show. Show. Now broadcasting live on Spreaker.com. Debbie Daily, changing the world. One caller at a time. Uh, today is... Hi, Steve. Hey, Deb. <laughs> Hi. I was just going to tell everybody what day it was in case they didn't know. Boy, we have got some interesting things tonight. What do we got? We really do. I read one earlier and I was like, ouch. Owie. Oh, letters? Yes. Cool. Some ouchies. Some people out there have got some, boy, it makes me glad to be where I'm at. I mean, you know what I mean? There's a lot of problems in the world. People are having a lot of tough times, man. For example, so, yeah. listen to this one. Dear Debbie, I am hurting. My ex boyfriend doesn't even talk to me unless I'm in town. I feel so used. I'm angry because I've let this happen. Guys rarely ever ask me out, and I was really excited when he showed interest, just for it to end up like this. I'm 28 years old. My female friends and all classmates are married or engaged, and nobody even ever wants to date me. I don't sleep well. In fact, I don't sleep around. I don't do anything wrong. I think I have a pretty good reputation. Um, What if my fate was to just be alone for the rest of my life? I am so tired of constantly having this knot in my chest. Please tell me how to move on because this I've had this pain for so long. By the way, I know that I should have never gotten into this relationship. It was desperation on my part. I just need help with letting go. Okay, first of all, let's stop right here. And I am going to, I know you're probably listening. If not right now on the archive, I'm going to highly recommend that she go see a professional. Yeah, there's some stuff going on there. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, know, I, I, you know. I feel for her for sure. She's uh, suffering from some very, very, very heavyweight uh, and this just came in. She's suffering from some heavyweight depression, it sounds like. Would you agree? It sounds like something. And a little self-esteem issues, a bunch of stuff happening there. I mean, I could do my best to tell her that it's not her and all this kind of stuff. But I really think that... A professional should yep. handle this one. I'd have to agree with you on that one. Um, <laughs> well, you know, and- I just wish that people would not put so much stock into their life comparing it to being with somebody do you know what i'm trying to say well i think that some people put everything into that that there's nothing else that if that fails everything fails and Where i just the, i hate what about that. believing in it you gotta believe in yourself mm-hmm. you know, i hate what, that what about you just trusting in you and, and moving on so yeah that's too bad that is too bad but I, I, just, I agree with you. That's what, this one may be a little bit too big to deal with because I think it, the tone of it is somebody with some serious issues that maybe – I don't know if we could address. I think you could address the general idea of it, of her feeling that she puts too much stock, she put too much stock into a relationship and she feels like she's always going to be alone. It's a pretty desperate thing to say. Yeah, really. I mean um, she's 28 years old and she's – just like nobody's ever going to want me nobody's ever going to need me you know nothing and i'm just like i don't know I, I i sometimes think about like i know this sounds funny but but art does imitate life i think about a movie maybe where like for example like there's an old movie that was called the goodbye girl okay and it was i've never seen it but i know that it was real sad and it was about sort of a girl that that was always broken up, you know, just the same situation. And these things always have a happy ending. I mean, I just know that there's somewhere, some, somebody out there for her. And the thing that's going to work is she's got to stop looking for it. Yeah. Well, I, I yes and no. I, I think that there, there certainly is somebody for everybody. That's that I know is a hundred percent true. Um, but sometimes you could look too hard, but you still keep your eyes open. You know what I mean? You don't take the first, hand that's there and say all right well you're available let's do this no no you're just gonna screw yourself really bad but and for um, god's sake do not judge yourself over what some schmuck thinks about you i mean yeah you're putting you're putting your entire life in the hands of some in the in the in the the hands of somebody else that's judging you yeah 
I mean, think about it. If I decide that all of a sudden, say you and I are going out, Steve, and you break up with me, and I decide that I am just dirt because you broke up with me. I'm basically, what I'm doing, um, person that wrote that in, is I am giving him so much power in my life to, to, to decide in my mind what I am, whether I'm a good person or not, right? I mean, or... It's, it's self-loathing and it's, you know, for the person, it's self-promoting. You know, they feel like, wow, I was, I was everything to her. She totally needed me. Debbie would never be anything without me, you know, because exactly. look, at, look at her. She's crawling back to me. Exactly. And then, and then you, you're just making yourself smaller and smaller because this, unfortunately, this is something that manifests and gets bigger. When somebody is dropped, they feel the need to keep crawling back to that person. Mm -hmm. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. That need for that person just gets stronger. I know people who in my personal life that hey, are still doing it. Still, I would say the word trolling people <laughs> just to get them back in their life. You know what I think? I think that sometimes we as humans, we refuse to accept rejection. Rejection sucks. Yeah. And they're like, wait a minute. You know, I have known girls before that have been broken up with by a guy and have actually wanted to get him back for no reason other than to once they get him back, they want to break up with him. You see what I mean? Like a title status, like okay, I, I proved it. I proved it wasn't me. Exactly. I could, I could have had him anytime I wanted. it. Yeah. Yeah, but they want to slam him since they slammed her. Yeah, well, then that, then it then that becomes almost a he said he said she said thing. You know what I mean? It's like, Equal Pascual. Okay, I've had that for lunch. That means even you. Steven in Spanish. Oh, my name's involved. Mm -hmm. I love that's Mexicans. right. I'll call you Pascual. All right, and I will call you. Venezuela Mel Puchico, which means nothing in English. Mel Puchico. I don't know. 